And as North Carolina's contact tracing initiative begins to get off the ground, we want to know what it's stacking up against the rest of the country. That's where CBS 17's digital data reporter Jody McCreary comes in, digging deeper tonight to see how much of an impact this will have and how it can potentially be improved. With North Carolina teaming up with two health care groups to beef up its contact tracing program, we wanted to know how that compares to what other states are doing. We reached out to our neighboring states and asked how they're hiring their contact tracers. Some of the highlights, Virginia's governor says he plans to hire 1,000 of them. South Carolina also wants to get to 1,000. They had 230 last week, and their health agency received $45 million from the state in emergency funding. And in Tennessee, they have a total of 500 people either doing contact tracing or supporting those who are. Both South Carolina and Tennessee are using current state employees in new roles as tracers. Some places in Tennessee are also using students and volunteers. A spokeswoman for South Carolina's health department says that agency is different. It oversees all that state's local departments, making it easier to use current staff in those roles. And we found only one other state with a partnership like the one here. We'll tell you what state that is in the full story at CBS17.com.